Hello, we're Sarah and Rachel, and today we'll be discussing how to read resistor values. The average resistor will have four color bands. If you look, you'll notice the band on one of the far ends should be metallic. This is the far end of the resistor, so we'll discuss this a bit later. Starting at the non-metallic side, you'll see the three bands that will tell you the resistance values for your resistor. The first two give you numerical values, and the third is a multiplying factor. Usually it's best to check your cheat sheet before plugging in a resistor, just to be sure you didn't accidentally choose the wrong one. But remembering some of the normal colors can be useful in determining whether or not you have the value you want. Let's do an example for reading a resistor. For the resistor in the picture, the first two bands are red and black, which means 2 and 0, respectively. The third band is red, which is a multiplication factor of 100. Putting this together, we have 2,000 ohms, or 2 kilo ohms. Last but not least, we have the fourth band. This indicates the tolerance of the resistor, or the maximum percent error between the recorded resistance and the actual resistance. Usually the band will be either gold, meaning a maximum 5% error, or silver, indicating a maximum 10% error. A resistor with no fourth band will have a maximum of a 20% error between its documented value and its actual resistance. Remember, you can always check your cheat sheet if you don't remember the tolerance. When you need to know the actual experimental resistance of a resistor, the bands will get you close, but not quite exact. The best way to get the exact resistance is to plug your resistor into your breadboard and use a multimeter to measure the resistance. Be sure you're using the proper setting on your multimeter. The band value should give you a hint for what range to use. Remember that you don't actually need to be running electricity through the resistor to measure its resistance. If the resistor is good, it should be within the documented tolerance range of the band value. If you find that it isn't, double check the, that you read the values correctly or try a different resistor. Sometimes the colors may look similar or different bands may have slight differences in color. So. Keep this in mind when determining the band colors and resistance values.